Second quarter. Ito na nga po ang pagbubukas ng second quarter of action. Hangin sa atin ng Motolite for ex-president service call 370-6686. Raymond Almazan makes it an 11-point lead. Para dito sa Rain or Shine, the largest it has been all night. Doc, minsan pa lang nakakatabla ang end-leg sa ballgame na to. That was at 2-all. It's been all Ross so far. Well, Rain or Shine, like you said, they're coming off a two-game winning streak. They know what's in store. They have to win. They have four games left, and they'd like to win all of them if they can. But you have to start with the first game that you have to play. Alam nila, desperate rin itong end-leg. So, from the very start, ang intensity nila maganda. And with these four games remaining, starting with this one, itong end legs lang. Yung below sa kanila sa team standings, Doc, sa ang Rain or Shine will have the Star Hotshots, Kia Carnival, and Meralco remaining on their schedule after tonight. Does it get easier para dito sa Elasto Painters? Ganun din naman para dito sa NLEX. Masusunod din ang mga kalaban, Global Port, Blackwater, at Barangay Hinebra. Cardona gets NLEX on the board for the second frame. Well, Magu, I think there are no teams that you can take for granted anymore. Of course, at the very bottom is Blackwater, but I understand they have a new import by the name of Cousins. Uh, they will use... No, hindi naman. Whom they will use... <laughs> I'd pay to see him. Yeah. <laughs> and because si Puya Marcus Dauphin as Mac Cardona drills a three at its side of PLDT on the SL triple play plans. Puya Marcus Dauphin yeah. is actually with the Gilas Cadets right now. Yeah. So see games in Singapore. And it's very I know, on the part of good on the part of Blackwater. They, they, they felt, you know, you have to give the fans everything. You know? So you try to bring in somebody else. If he does well, then continue with him. You know? okay, he's big man. Na pigla yata doon si Almasan sa pase niya eh. Parang libre siya, libre siya ng babantay sa kanya. 27-21 na sa ating talaan. Raymundo is with Enrico Villanueva. Ramos, Cardona, and Borboran binabantay nila. Almasan, Tang, Norwood, Jervy Cruz, and Chan. Sweeping hook mula kay Enrico doesn't work. We send it over to Miss Erika. Rain or shine, matapos manguna after the first quarter by nine points. Notice that pressure is on Jeff Chan. Kaya naman, pinalalahanan ni Coach Yeng ang Elasto Painters to deliver help on his side. Dagdag pa ni Coach, maintain good ball movement and sharing as extra pass really has been giving them the advantage. Felix Senyo? Nadagdag ang ba pressure kay Jeff Chan dahil the best player of the game kanina first game, si Jeff Chan? Ang ganda pa nga yung drive niya. Kala ko si Jeff yun eh. Yun lang nga kanon siya, si Jeff Caliwete. Yun lang. But Jeff also has been the player of the week for the last week by the press court. So, of course, there's pressure for you to maintain the way you play, especially coming off an injury. Oh, plantar pa siya. It is injury yun. Right on cue dog, Jeff Chan. Gets his first bucket of the game. The transition defense of Alex leaves much to be desired here. Rainer, the last painters are killing them off that. Bawal mag-speeding sa end legs eh. Rainer siya, pasaway. Raprat na raprat eh. As we take a look at this fast break, atin po sa atin to, ng smart, live more. Dala-dalaway na iwan na doon para sa end legs, pero ginawa silang orange cones. Ito ni Jeff Chan. Tuloy-tuloy. Baka naka... Easy trip siya. Easy trip si Jeff. Kaya dire-direcho na. Hindi na pumipila. Oh, bayad ni. Alexander, not ipit. Bola, mababalik pa sa Rainer Shine. You know, this Rainer Shine has played that kind of defense. So, they defend the people on the perimeter well. But once you ride into the lane, they collapse. And they try to make sure no pass are easy. Oh, man, this one, that's gonna be a foul. That movement is... Just you know, something that you really like to watch in a basketball team. Almazan going to the line for two shots. Mga free throw na to. Hatid sa atin ng smart. Live more. Well, dumikit na dito ang uh, index kanina to six points. But now it's climbing back to 11. And they have Makinis even resting on the bench. No? As we invite everybody once again, ngayon kung darating na Biernes, that's June 12, Independence Day, araw ng kasarin lang. Sa ating bayan, magkita-kita po tayo sa Red Gate ng Smart Araneta Coliseum para sa isang pep rally. 
para sa ating pagsubok na makuha ang pag-host ng World FIBA World Basketball Cup sa darating na 2019. Tapos yung tuloy-tuloy na kayo ito sa loob. Yeah. <laughs> Pasok na nila kayo ng game. Mamimigay ng tigil dyan. Yeah. Sa pep rally na yan. Kaya yung po, ang tip, sa, tip namin ni Doc sa inyo, agahan niyo po, baka kayo makakuha ng mga libre yung tigil na yan. Marami pa daw yata ang giveaways dyan. Pati yung mga t-shirts yeah. sa ano yung soccer. Limited edition of t-shirts. May chismis sa atin si kasamang Roy. Ano sa atin? Libo yata ang pagbibigyan ng tigil. Ganon? Pagka hindi natuloy, si Roy Lopez po. Puntahan nyo. Tsaka siya magmimigay sa inyo para makapasok kayo. Ano ba games doon na mamaya i-check natin yan? NLEX Global Port ang second game sa araw na yan. First game is Blackwater Talking Legends. As we also invite everybody to catch the 28 Southeast Asian Games as participating countries compete for the gold. Dito lang mapapanood yan sa TV5 at Action TV, Laban Pilipinas. Sinong kalaban natin bukas? Malaysia. Okay. Used to be a power. Actually, the only other team that has won a Southeast Asian gold medal aside from the Philippines. Gusto mo galitin natin si Doc? 1986 yun. Galitin natin si Doc. Di ba naluto tayo doon? Yeah. Well, that was in Malaysia. Kaya na, disgrasya. Sabi mo, may tumalo sa atin sa larangan ng basketball sa Southeast Asia. Minsan lang naman. Well, they had some good players there. In fairness, they had three good players in the team. I remember that very well. They had three decent players. So, it was enough for them to, you know, to compete against us. To stay close. Yeah. That's a nice move there. That's a nice move there. That was also a zigzag down and legs highway. Mall to mall, ginawa dito. Kwame Alexander, McInnes looking to return the favor, loses it on the way up. Cardona on the move, gets it across the timeline. Map na ipit, nalabas pula niya kay Jonas. Villanueva on the attack, pull up jumper, di ubra, McInnes para sa rebound. They're getting no scoring at all from their point guard. That's their problem. Until even their second guard. Makinis to the corner. Chan for three. Tiubra. Cardona para sa board. Now na na si Madandi. Di nakita ni Mack. He goes to the left side. Cardona's one-hander is good. Probably the only local player that can score over and import that way because they just don't know what he's going to do. Nine points in the game now para dito kay Mack Cardona. As Makinis... Oh, he gets a good bounce, and it's a three-point shot. At it's at it, and PLDD on the SL triple play plans. He's gonna say dito kay Macardona his tournament best scoring performance lock so far. He may pin points malang, but he may do lang kay Mac sa tournament nato. Well, I don't think he's given the playing time yet. But today, certainly he has set minutes. Madandi mula sa kanto, di mabawi yung press sa rebound play. Norwood was trying to. Get that leather, pero away from play, it was Double foul. Double foul. Double foul on Alexander and Jeremy Cruz. Alexander and Cruz ang napituan as we take another look at this match break brought to you by Smart Live More. Well, certainly Raynor Chai will live with that because that's going to be the third personal foul of Alexander. That double foul. Ang dagok na ito para sa NLEX as Alexander steals away that jump. Hindi pa nagpipik yung hagis ng referee. Eh, tinapik na kagad niya. Chris Chu now on the floor para dito sa Ross. Foul din ang nakita naman dito kay Jerby Cruz. Nagipinlanta niya ang kanyang forearm sa likod si Macardona. Maybe they might try to use a little of Winnie Arboleta later on because they have to get something out of their point guard, some scoring. Jonas and Madani silent so far here in the middle of the big room. Asi, another perimeter jumper, this time Dimo Bra. That was quite short. Norwood on the move. Gets it to Jervy. Spot-up jumper. Jervy could not deliver. Cardona, Jonas, nagagawa pa sa rebound. Si Maka nakagawa ng bola. Tatapi ka ni Makinis, pero it is recovered by Alexander. Paulava pleading for that leather deep position. Puts it up off the glass. Gets the basket. May kasama bang foul. 
Well, reaction na lang ang ginawa ni Jerby Cruz doon dahil masyado ng deep si Asi and Asi push him a little bit at the back. O walang tawag. <laughs> Patuloy ang ating pagtutok sa ating PBA PLDD Home DSL Governor's Cup na nagmumula dito sa loob ng Smart Araneta Coliseum. Asi Taulava completes that three-point play and he will bring Enlex to within eight. Well, despite the way that uh, Rain or Shine seems to have controlled this ball game, they're just on top by eight, uh, surprisingly. So, Chiang Giao, digging deeper into his bench. Speaking of deeps, ang lalim na nun, wala na makakapigil kay Makini sa pagkakataon niyo. Because there was no help. Yeah. They're afraid to help because they're also afraid of the outside shooting of uh, Rain or Shine. Ryan Aranya, yung bagong pasok para dito sa Ross. Jonas, may tangan ng bola. Kasama na rin si Jericho Cruz, no? Diyan na rin si John Wilson naman para dito sa NLEX. Taulava against Belga. Tapto na foul ni Big Bow. Dari siya magagawa sa tira ni Taulava. Well, ginawa ni Boyet dito is hoping that he can get something out of his new recruit Wilson. He can play him at the two guard and make Mangani play the three. Oh, look at Big Bow getting on his twinkle toes. Mag-bicycle lang. Grabe, you know? Pero tignan mo yung defensa doon. Parang walang player doon eh. Always a mismatch. A big man going up against a guy. So cannot stop him with his body. John Wilson who has yet to hit a three-pointer with the NLX Road Warriors. Hit two when he was still with Meralco. As McKinnis had nowhere to go. And fishing expedition, di naman pinituan. Now it's a three-on-one. So there's the layout. Oh, shoot a three-point shot on a three-on-one. <laughs> Alexander and Madanli connecting there. Yun yan, no? This time around, inatake ni Madanli. Pinalik yeah. naman kaagad sa kanya ni Alexander. If you forward the pass and you really spread out the ball, the floor very well, you're okay. Aranya down the gutter of the defense. Pepreno, Wilson all over him. Lalabas sila kay Chu. Ford to shoot. McGinnis puts it up. And that's number four on him. That's going to be number four on Alexander. Again, he was put there in no man's land. Four fouls already around in the second quarter. Lang nagbackfire yung sugal dito ni Coach Boyd Fernandez by keeping Kwame Alexander on the floor. As we get this report from Miss Padilla. Good friends, Leo McMorrow of Baraka Bull Energy and Seiya Ando of the Meralco Bolts, who used to be teammates for the Halifax Rainmen in Canada's National Basketball League, are watching the game and both agree that Kwame Alexander should pass the ball more and if ever he wants to attempt to shoot, better doubt if he goes closer to the basket. And to lift the spirits of his team, he should be able to find himself slamming it hard on the basket like a true world-class dunker. Balik sa inyo. Madanli is joined on the floor by Enrico Villanueva, John Wilson, Jonas Villanueva, and Asi Taulava. Upo na muna si Alexander na may apat na foul. Well, they have no choice. They don't want to go see the area. Belga, tatlo na rin ang foul niya. Lalabas muna ni Asi papunta kay Wilson. Three-pointer is good for John. Well, he was able to adjust no, because he got the player defending against him flying. Took another step and found his nice position on the floor. Only his third three-pointer of the tournament, but first in an NLEX uniform. And they needed that three-point shot. But, oh, that's going to be intercepted. Asis, uh, long arms, taking that away. Alabas muna niya kay Jonas Villanueva. Very sound basketball being played by uh, Asi here. Madanli back to Asi. Asi, nakakita ng crack sa depensa. Lalabas dito kay John Wilson. His fake. It's taken away. Aranya to Jericho. He goes reverse to push Rainer Shrine's lead back up to eight points. Or given the opportunity to shoot, you got to shoot. And the worst thing he did was to make a turnover about the free throw line, which resulted in a pass free. Tana pong dalawat kalati natin tira sa ating ikalawang yung hook. Madanli may tanga ng bola. Aranya trying to keep in front of him. Madanli's jumper, wala. Asi's rebound and put back. Ayo talaga. McKinnis finally clears it para sa Rainer Shine. Chu at the other end to McKinnis. Nakita si Aranya. No good on the long one, but McKinnis keeps it alive para sa Rainer Shine. It's like a monster off the boards there for the uh, Rainer Shine team. 17 points, 11 rebounds. That's Asi blocks Belga. Jonas spins into a turnover. McKinnis to Big Bow. Aranya nagahanap ng papasaan. They go to Chu. Belga steps into this one. McKinnis to naman. 
And that's not the way to box him out because <laughs> he's so agile. Jericho trying to make something happen on this offensive. Well, if you give a team so many opportunities to get uh, second chance points, eventually they're going to burn you. Back to a 10 point lead. Still a time left here in the uh, second quarter. Adanli on the attack, picks up his dribble. RC waiting for Adanli to recover. McKinnis switching over. They go to Enrico. Down the middle, Villanueva. Up and in. It's like a war there, a war zone underneath the uh, basket there. You know, all big men there. Uh, being back back. Yeah. Belga, Martinez, Rico, Asi. Kasali pa dyan sa si Aranya. PBA talaga is a man's game. Bawal ang lalambot-lambot as Jericho Cruz lights it up from the four players touch that ball before the shot was taken. Eventually, somebody's going to be free with the proper spacing. Alex sa once ang abante ng Elasto Painters. Coach Boyat wants to talk things over. Lalo sa Biernes. Ang gandang bandi niya. Dali natin ang bumpamilya dahil holiday naman. Yep. Sa Red Gate po, Pep Rally. Para sa FIBA World Basketball Cup. 130, Red Gate. Dito sa Smart Araneta. Paulava goes last. He was double, triple team in that play, but he still managed to get the shot off the glass. So, yeah, we really have to get, give it to him. 14 points in the game para kay Taulava. The foul to give, given up by uh, Jonas. Kasi Taulava trying to do all he can to keep the middle yeah. striking distance, Doc, para pagdating na second half. Meron ka, no? meron kang pag-asa. And then eventually, he hopes on back home. Si Arani na galing. Tinabot si Wilson. Dito kay Ryan. 50-41 nasa ating talaan. Ang trainer shine po makakapagbaon ng siyam na puntos sa kalamangan.